Hello and welcome to a new episode of our quick product introduction. This is Vito Ribeiro from Nishimbo Micro Devices. Today I'm going to introduce our new audio volume IC, Muses 72323. But before going into product details, I will shortly explain the concept and the philosophy behind our Muses line of high-end audio ICs. An audio signal pass is like a chain, where the strength is defined by the weakest link. The audio processing quality is impacted by the weakest component in the signal pass. This is a challenge and our answer is Muses and the philosophy behind to ensure natural sound reproduction. Take this audio amplifier as an example. All stages must ensure that they don't add noise or distortion, but at the same time offering high linearity and a wide dynamic range. Nishimbo Micro Devices offers all required analog components, such as buffer, audio input selector, amplifier and audio volume ICs. All these products belong to our Muse's highest quality audio product lineup. I have mentioned Muse's several times now and you may ask yourself, what is Muse's? It is our response to the demand for high-end audio products committed to ensure a natural sound experience. Muse's guarantees high quality sound which is as close as technically possible to the original signal limiting distortions, noise and other negative impacts to the natural sound experience. Let's come back to the audio amplifier block diagram. In today's quick introduction I will be focusing on Muses 72323 audio volume IC as our latest addition to the audio volume IC lineup. Nishimbo Micro Devices offers volume ICs supporting almost all hi-fi audio quality levels. Muses 72323 is the latest member of the high quality high performance product group, but there are even more volume ICs supporting a wide range of audio quality levels. But what makes Muses 72323 so outstanding and why should you be using it in your next audio design? Volume control in its simplest form could be done using a potentiometer. Yes, it could, but this has many disadvantages. Electronic volume ICs work differently. You could change the volume in the D2A converter using external buffer and amplifier. But as can be seen, they not only change the volume of the audio signal, but the noise level as well. Remember what I said about the quality and strength of a chain? This is certainly a weak point, and that is why we propose an improved approach. Instead of controlling the volume in the D2A converter, we use an external volume control IC, which attenuates the signal level and the noise at the same time. By doing this, the signal to noise ratio is improved and the noise is hardly noticeable in low volume music segments. Muses 72323 is an improved version of the previously available Muses 72322. Both offer a wide operating voltage range of plus minus 10 volts to plus minus 18 volts resulting in a wide dynamic range. Output noise and distortion is only determined by the characteristics of the external amplifier. A three-wire serial interface to control all features. Zero cross detection circuit, selectable chip address and both are housed in an SSOP32 package. Muses 72323 offers a volume control range of 0 to minus 111.75 dB with a resolution of 0 0.25 dB per step. Only a few external components are required to operate this high quality volume control. The external operational amplifier could be of bipolar or, as shown in this example, of JFET input type. Everything is controlled by a three wire interface consisting of the signals latch, clock, and data. The signals can be connected to other three wire controlled ICs because the logical address, as part of the command, avoids address conflicts. The control signals are not timing critical and could even come from a microcontroller using bit banging port pins. The commands are defined as 16 bit words, where D0 and D1 indicates a bus address, D2 and D3 addresses the internal registers to control the volume, to set the gain, and so on. But I will explain the commands in more details later on. The address bits D0 and D1 in the command word must match the settings of the two chip address pins, ADR0 and ADR1. This enables the usage of up to four ICs sharing the same three-wire serial bus interface. 
the volume IC set to default values after power up. All register bits are set to zero and both signal channels are muted to avoid unwanted noise or popping sound. Muting can also be accomplished by setting all the volume bits to one. Selecting the internal registers 0 and 1 via D2 and D3 enables the volume control of both channels. D7 to D15 sets the volume and can be changed in 0.25 dB steps. Setting all bits to either 0 or 1 will mute the individual channel. The speed of the volume change can be softened by selecting the soft step feature, controlled by the two bits SSL and SSR. This reduces zipper noise during the gain adjustment. Clearing the LR control bit enables to control the volume of both channels independently from each other. While setting this bit, we'll select the link mode, where the volume for both channels is set by changing the left channel volume only. The channel gain can be controlled independently from the default 0 dB up to plus 21 dB in 3 dB steps. One interesting feature is the option to use a zero detection circuit which will set a new gain setting only when the audio signal is in the range of plus minus 25 millivolts. This concludes the quick introduction of MUSE 72323 and the explanation of the control scheme for this high quality volume control IC. Let me quickly summarize the product highlights for you. MUSE 72323 as a new member of our high quality audio volume control lineup offers a high level of design and cost flexibility by using external audio op-amps. A wide dynamic range is given by the plus minus 18 volt operating voltage. All functions are controlled through a three-wire serial control interface for easy volume control and chip initialization. This makes MUSE 72323 the perfect choice for your next audio design. It combines high quality sound, the ease of usage and a high level of design and cost flexibility. Thanks for watching. Please contact one of our sales partners in your region in case you would like to get samples or additional information. Technical documentation can be obtained from our website using the link down below.